Hi everyone, I'm Troy Gray and welcome to my latest adventure. This time it's in southeast Queensland exploring the wonders of the Gold Coast hinterland. This area has such a vibrant tourism industry. There's so much to see and do and the elevated section is part of the Great Dividing Range. And over the next five days, check out what we get up to. That is a full on five days, so you do not want to miss any of it, but I won't be alone. I'll be joined by 12 people, so let's meet them now. It's another beautiful day to start our third day of this wonderful Queensland adventure. And when most people think about the Gold Coast, they automatically think about the beautiful beaches and the theme parks. But what they are forgetting is just a 20 minute drive up into the mountains here at Tambourine. They can experience four wheel driving. So it is nature's adventure playground. And of course, the beauty of the subtropical rainforest. Let's go exploring. Yeah, so last night I was just trying to think ahead, like what are we going to be doing? I think about going hiking or something with waterfalls. Turns out we're doing something completely different that don't, the tourists don't normally do, so. We're going to be taken out by the boys from the uh, Southern Cross ball driving and we're going to go hit up the hinterland again, I think. Alright guys, uh, obviously uh, you're out on the Gold Coast of Queensland. We're heading up uh, with Southern Cross four-wheel drive tours to the top of Mount Tambourine. We're off to the Gold Coast hinterland to do some four-wheel driving, which is pretty cool because I've never done that before. When we head up the mountain, we're not going to go up by the main roads. We're going to head up by the uh, fire trails up through the uh, eucalyptus forest at the top of the mountain. That's great. I love it because we can sit there and watch everything get thrown around a bit. Fantastic. It's going to be a great day. I think we're going to enjoy the scenery and the bumps along the way. It'll be good. Spent some time in rally cars before, but never done the four-wheel drive trail thing. So I'm very excited. Very excited. Yeah, it's it's so much fun. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's, it's great fun. And um, the hills are so steep. It's kind of surprising that a car that big can make those hills. So we just had a fairly bumpy ride halfway up uh, Mount Tambourine there. Uh, got a little bit hairy back there, it felt a bit like a Gold Coast roller coaster. We were up, we were down, we were sideways, we were left, right, up, it was, uh, it was good. They went right over to the edge, just a little bit of barbed wire, and they're like, don't worry, that'll save you, and I thought, like, I don't think I know about that. So steep. Oh, this is wildcat country, you have to just have the good wheels to get going and get up here. The scenery is just beautiful. You're looking at the tallest building there is Sky Point, Q1 as we know it. That's in surface paradise. We're looking out over the, the valley here down towards the, the Gold Coast, which is amazing. It's just, like well, you said, the hustle and bustle of 30 k's away. You come up here and it's just amazingly beautiful and, and uh, yeah, just so serene. And as you can tell why people live up here. Yes, yeah, so we've just walked down the uh, Joella section of the trail here at Curtis Falls, in Mount Tambourine National Park. Gorgeous, it's so peaceful, the weather is amazing, it's just the perfect temperature for a, for a really nice, calm bushwalk. After a few days of uh, spending time on the beach and in the surf and out in the open sun, we've come down here and it's a beautiful spot. I had no idea this was even in Queensland, so. The air is really crisp and fresh and you just feel kind of revitalised, I don't know. It just gives you that really refreshing feeling being in a rainforest, it's beautiful. It's, it's an easy walk, it's a nice track, there's plenty to see on the way down. Walking back up's a little bit harder, but uh, certainly anyone of any age could do it. Just an amazing subtropical uh, bit, of, bit of rainforest and all the wildlife and all through that. You know, there's some stuff that's uh, not so nice with the, the funnel webs and uh, Roy, our guide, was, was incredible. He's like David Attenborough, he just knows everything about, about everything. We looked at the uh, nest for the, um, uh, the turkey, um, how he builds it and how he maintains it and all that. We heard birds that sound like you're stepping on a cat's tail, like Rawr! something like that. It was a green cat, 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 food. Green cat food, and it's just like, Rawr! like that. It was just like some sort of wild cat out there. You come look around, what's going on? 
then the uh, gentleman told us about the funnel webs and, uh, and how they hide themselves on in the trees and, and just wherever they can and uh, so I have no longer touched anything. Yeah, like I can't believe the city is so close and you just a short drive and you're in somewhere like this and if you missed it, like you're just missing out on such a beautiful walk and no, it's really good. Get down here and do it. Get down here. You're wasting the time if you're not coming down here. Definitely missing out on things. Yeah!